Halos. His website is halos.com if you want to get a hold of Robert Gentry. I've been to his house and in his laboratory. It's amazing. The stuff he did on radiopolonium halos. He discovered in granites all over the world there are little tiny rings. You can't see them without a good microscope. But these rings are sort of like, a best, the best analogy would be if a hand grenade exploded in jello, all the fragments would fly out and be stuck in the, in the jello. If you had a big block of jello, it would make a halo. Well, as polonium decays, it's radioactive. As it decays, it sends off these little particles, and they all go a certain distance. So you end up, just similar to the hand grenade, you end up with a ring of these little particles. If this happens in hot molten rock, it's going to decay, make its little halo, and the halo's going to melt. It's going to disappear. Just like when fireworks go off, it makes a beautiful circle in the sky, and then it doesn't stay there. Of course, it, it falls down. Polonium has a very short half-life. And so if it made its little halo as the polonium decayed and made its little halo in the rock, if the rock was hot, the halo would disappear. If the rock were already cold, it would leave a ring behind. And these rings are found in rock all over the world. And Robert Gentry did a lot of research on this and said, folks, these rocks were never a hot molten mass because this is polonium that is original. It's not a daughter product of something else. And it's leaving a ring behind. This rock was never hot. And as soon as his research, people began to realize his research goes against the Big Bang Theory, they, he lost his funding, of course. OK, next question. What about global warming? Is it true the Earth is heating up and we've got to save the environment and you know, save Mother Earth and kill all the whales or kill all the babies and save all the whales? Well, there's a good book, several good books about, about uh, uh, global warming. I think there's a whole lot more to this story than we realize. There's no question man has abused the environment, okay? But I don't think the government's the one to fix it. Um, there's a book called Facts Not Fear. You can get to Derry Brownfield's ministry in uh, Missouri. Radio uh, R12, which is what's used in refrigerants for air conditioners, it sinks. It doesn't rise. Try it. If you can get some R12 and poke a little hole in the can and put a match under it, it'll put the match out as it flows over it. It's not going up. Um, a volcano can produce thousands of times more ozone-destroying material than